Milan Alicia here. During the summer of 2016, I interned with BET Networks on their television programming and scheduling team. If you haven't already seen my video on how I got my internship at Google during the summer of 2017, make sure you go click on that video. I'm gonna leave a link down here below. Also, if you haven't seen my video on how I got my job at MTV Networks following graduating from college, I'll leave that link down below. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. A little quick summary about my background. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I went to college at Bar College in upstate New York. I went there on a full tuition posse leadership scholarship at Bar College. I did a double major in anthropology and I also majored in film. And while at Bard, I had really amazing internship opportunities such as interning with Intergy. I interned with BET Networks, which is what this video was about. I interned at Google with YouTube and then following Bard, I got a job at MTV Networks. I applied to the BET Networks internship during the fall semester of my sophomore year of college. During that time in my sophomore year of campus, I was encouraged to be a fellow at the Hannah Arendt Center for Politics and Humanities. With that, I was working on their speaker team, their video team, and doing a lot of media things for the center. I was also running Bart on Television, which was a film production club on campus. I was serving as a sort of freelance photography and filmmaker. I was on some computer science things with the Bart Information Technology Center. I was sort of doing a lot on campus. And I knew that that upcoming summer, I wanted to really have an internship in television because prior to that, my first internship was in tech with Intergy, so I wanted to get a bit more media experience. As you know, I am a Posse Scholar, and a part of the Posse Foundation Scholarship is that Posse is partnered with lots of different career partners, such as Google, NBC, Disney, Viacom, Discovery, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, so forth and so on. One day I went to the Posse website and I went on the internship section and I saw that the internship applications for Viacom was open. I'm not sure if the application for Viacom is different now than it was when I applied, but when I applied, Posse asked you to rank which department you would want to work in. So I put like television production first, I put uh, television development second, and I put television programming third. And you don't necessarily pick which network you want to work with, they sort of do that for you. For those of you not familiar with the term, television programming is basically when a network, a radio station, orders, programs, and schedules content in a daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly schedule. Television development is when you brainstorm and create new ideas for a network, whether that be in a show, a stunt, starting from zero. And production is in essence production being on set things like that i wrote a couple letters to posse and i cc the viacom recruiter and i wrote that i would like to intern in these three departments production development and programming i also listed with potential networks i would like to work with so i put bt network mtv networks vh1 comedy central nickelodeon so forth and so on the application process was really quick so i submitted that email then about a week later i received an email from an assistant on the BET Network television programming team. And she was like, hi, Milan, we you received your email and your cover letter and your resume, would you like to have a quick phone interview with us? I replied and I said, I would be delighted to interview with you on the phone about the BET Network television programming team. A few days later, I had that phone interview with someone from the BET Networks team. And during the phone interview, they asked me a lot of questions on my knowledge of television programming. Because with programming and scheduling, what you're doing is that you're sort of plugging in the network's programming into a schedule and when you plug it in, the programming goes up on a network during a certain day, a certain time, a certain week. You also create like stunts and stacks and you sort of create what people see when they turn on the channel. You're not creating content, but you're creating the schedule that it goes up on air. Literally 24 hours after I had that phone interview, I got an email saying we would like to welcome you to the BET Network's programming team and I was like, oh wow this is fast but yes i'll accept and so that's sort of quickly how i became an intern at bet networks and i'll sort of briefly go over what i did during my internship there during my internship with bet networks i collaborated daily with my team and especially with my senior manager at the time and we will work on strategies to improve bet networks short-term and long-term programming strategies that could be anything from acquiring new content from other networks such as airing something like Tyler, a Tyler Perry show that didn't originally air on BET Networks or Fresh Prince which didn't originally air on BET Networks but we know that that's something that our audience would want to see that's something we would sort of brainstorm to see how acquired content 
would fit onto our network. Every week, I would also use Nielsen and Star Trek to analyze the ratings of how our content had performed in the week or month prior. The thing about programming is that, of course, you want to create a schedule and program things that your audience actually wants to see. And so I would go into Nelson and Star Trek and do these analysis of our content. And then we would have a weekly meeting to see if we needed to remove things on a schedule, rearrange things on a schedule, or just in general change the entire programming schedule. And that would happen a lot. One cool thing about programming is that it's creative in a way that you're constantly puzzle mapping and puzzle making and creating new format of showing content to your audience. I would also track our competitive programming. So I would look at where other networks would air and I would sort of create schedules so that we can compete with those networks during a certain day part, a certain week, a certain month. So if I knew that so when so channel was airing a premiere on Tuesday at 7 p.m., I would be like, hi, we should air something com to compete with this network at 7 p.m on next Tuesday. So it was sort of great to be able to see what other networks were airing, what their ratings were, and how we could compete with that effectively to make sure that BET Networks was also getting that viewership that other networks were getting. I also worked on some projects where I would help to create stacks and stunts for the networks. Stacks are sort of when programming is organized consistently at a day time throughout the week and a stunt is sort of like a marathon. For example, my manager asked me to research some stunts for the upcoming holiday season, which was cool because one of my stunts actually made it on air. So for that Thanksgiving of 2016 in November, I researched a Nutty Professor stunt. I was like, we should air all the whatever Nutty Professors that we have in our programming book, we should put on air for Thanksgiving because it's a family show, it's a black family show, and people would want to watch that. And so during that Thanksgiving when I was home with my family, we turned on BET Networks and behold, we saw the Nutty Professor on air. The thing with programming is that you can actually see your work have an impact immediately. So if you schedule something to air, the following day or following week on Wednesday at 8 p.m. and you turn on the network that next Wednesday at 8 p.m. and you see what you scheduled on air, it's a very rewarding feeling. That is what I did at BET Networks in a nutshell. The majority of the time it was a lot of collaborating with my team on creating programming schedules, creating decks and things of that sort. The team at BET Networks was very helpful and supportive and I still sort of see some of them in an office today since I'm currently at Viacom with MTV Networks and so whenever I see them I'll you know say hi, should I give a quick conversation and so it's great to still have that support even two, no even three years later when I'm not even an intern there anymore. This is BET Networks. When I interned here, BET was actually across the street at Viacom's other building, but I think they're trying to centralize everyone in this one building in Times Square. One of my highlights while interning at BET Networks was seeing Mac Miller. So Mac Miller came to the office when he was premiering the Divine Feminine album, which he wrote about me, of course. Just kidding, but I really and truly dearly miss Mac. So it was really great to be able to see him in person and hear the album before it was released. We also met young M.A. when she first came out and when she, when she first dropped that Ooh song. DJ Drama when he came out with his last album, I met many amazing people. There were also lots of events for the interns. Throughout that summer, there were lots of opportunities for the interns to meet and mingle. The Viacom student team put through a lot of summer socials here. There were lots of performances, lots of meet and greets, food events, drink events. So it was just great to sort of meet other interns from other networks at Viacom while I was interning with BET. And of course, the main highlight of me interning at BET is that that was the first time I had ever lived in New York City. I was subletting an apartment in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. It was my first time living in New York, my first time living in Brooklyn. And so I thought that Brooklyn was just like Brooklyn. I didn't know that there were other neighborhoods in Brooklyn. And so one day I like walked from Crown Heights all the way to Broadway Junction because I thought that that is where Williamsburg was. It was just like really weird, but I just had a really great time in turning at BET and living in New York City. Um, and I'm in New York City now at MTV Networks, which is really cool. All in all, I had a really amazing experience in turning for BET Networks. I learned a lot about television programming, television scheduling, marketing, acquisitions, distribution, and a lot of other things that goes into making a successful television network. I'm sure there's lots of things I didn't answer in this video. So if you have any questions about my internship at Google, interning at Viacom, working at Viacom, or any questions related to media, 
leave those questions down below. And also, once again, make sure you go watch my video on how I got my internship at Google, how I got my job at MTV Networks, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.